Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I'm going to take you through how to create a mat digitally so that you don't have to go out and purchase a mat when you're framing a picture. The other thing I'm going to cover is how to create a colored vignette. First, let's take a look at the mat. I have this picture here by Frank Kovalchek. I want to thank him for letting me use this photo under the Creative Commons license. And I've added a few matte colors to this with the little lines there to simulate that you've cut the matte and it has little white edges to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to revert this image. You don't have to do it. I've used this very much like a cooking show, I've already done it and I'm going to take this back to the original photo and I'm going to revert this. And there's my original photo right here. Now what I want to do is I want to add some of the area that we're going to use for the mat. In order to do that, I need to go and find out what my image size is. Now over here it shows you that my image is a very strange size, it's 8.32 inches by 12.48 inches so I'm going to change this to an 8 inch and you'll notice right away that it changes that height to 8 by 12 that's most of the pictures that we have are 8 by 12 I'm gonna select OK it's going to resize my picture now what I need to do is I need to add some canvas to that I'm going to go to the same menu option here under resize and I'm going to change my canvas size now there's two ways to change your canvas size you can put in the desired size that you want to have I'm going to make this 16 by 20 the other method is by going here and checking relative so if we want to add 8 inches to the height and 8 inches to the width that is relative now where it's going to add it is this is going to put the picture in the middle and it's going to add the canvas all around for some reason if you wanted it over on the side and you wanted all the canvas added to the right side you could put it there but I'm going to put it in the middle just where it is now I'm going to select OK now you notice that around the image a white canvas has been placed. I'm going to undo this temporarily because what we need to do is we need to add that in a different color. So I'm going to double click my background to unlock my layer right here and then I'm going to add a layer underneath this one. You hold down the command key or the control key on a PC, you click the new layer icon or the dog ear icon as I say and it adds a layer underneath this layer. Let's go back to the image, resize, resize our canvas. This time I'm going to uncheck the relative and I'm going to put my final desired size that I want in there. It's the same thing, but I'm going to put 16 by 20 just so that you can see a different way of doing that. And I'm going to select OK. Now that we have this as a checkerboard pattern, it is transparent. Now we need to pick a color that we want to fill this with. Most people like to use some sort of a blue, so I'm going to click on the blue right there. And then I'm going to pick kind of a darker color, darker blue here, and select OK. That's kind of a navy color, and I'm going to select OK. Now in order to fill that layer, I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key, and I'm going to hit the Delete. And that's going to fill that with that blue layer. So there's our first part of our mat. The next thing we need to do is we need to fill in an area about half an inch all the way around this. In order to do that, we need to know where the center is. Now in order to get to the center of the photo, I'm going to add some guides. You get to the guides by going to the view menu and you select new guide. Now I'm going to add one vertically and if you remember it's a 16 inch wide photo so I'm going to put 8 inches there and select OK and that'll put it at the center. I'm going to add one more guide and I'm going to add it as a horizontal guide and I'm going to add that at 10 inches because it is 20 inches tall that's the halfway point. Now that I know where the center of the photo is I need to add a marquee. The marquee tool is up here under your select tools. If you don't see the square or rectangular marquee tool you can click on it and then down here in the tool options palette you'll see that there is a rectangular and an elliptical marquee. We want the rectangular one right here. I'm going to add this as a fixed size. I'm going to add an eight and a half 
and you have to put IN for inches because it will try to default to pixels and a height of 12 and a half inches right there. Now when I click on this photo we want it to center right there where the two guides intersect. And In order to do that we're once again going to hold the ALT or OPTION key down and click in the middle and that's going to add the marquee tool right around our picture with a, a quarter inch border all the way around. Now what we want to do is pick the inside color of our mat. I'm just going to hit the D on the keyboard and make it the default colors because I'm going to fill that with black. Now I need to add a new layer by clicking the dog ear icon in my layers palette. I click that. It adds a transparent layer in between our blue layer and our picture. If I hold the Alt or Option key down and hit Delete, it will add the black right in here. Now I'm going to add that little white area that appears when you cut a mat, and that's the little area that's sliced. I'm going to add that just to the inside of our blue and black areas. I need to add a new layer, so we go to the layer icon and click the dog ear icon to create a new layer. Then I am going to stroke this on the inside 10 pixels. Now we need to have the white in the foreground, so I'm going to hit the X key on the keyboard. That is going to exchange the foreground and background colors, so now white is in the foreground. If I go up to the Edit, I can select Stroke Outline, and I want to stroke that to the inside by 10 pixels and select OK. Now you really can't see what it looks like until you get rid of the marching ants. So you can deselect that under the select menu or as I like to use the command shortcuts or the control shortcuts, command D and that gets rid of it. So it's looking pretty nice. If you wanted to, we could now save that out as a JPEG and print it and you would have a mat that you did not have to purchase at the craft store. Now another thing that someone asked me, one of my viewers asked me, is how do I create a colored vignette? Now this one's really easy. I am going to go to the edit menu. I'm going to revert this one more time to our original photo. The first thing we need to do is change the dimensions of the image. Under image, under resize, is the image size. I'm going to change this to 8 it automatically changes it to 12 because I have constrained proportions checked. Select OK. So now that's an 8 by 12. It's very easy to find the center of that now. I'm going to add the guides again by going to View, New Guide. I'm going to add one this time at a vertical at 4 inches because it is an 8 inch picture. Then I'm going to add another guide here at 6 inches horizontally because it is a 12 inch tall picture. And there we go, there's the center. Over in the layers palette we are going to add a new layer right here, making a transparent layer right above our picture. Now let's pick a color that we want to use for the vignette. If you click on white, we can select over here maybe you want more of a bluish purple color. I'm going to select that purple color right in here, maybe a little lighter, and select OK. Now I need to get to my elliptical marquee. You already have your rectangular marquee selected, so in the tool options, and if you don't see the tool options, they're right here, we click the elliptical marquee. Now we need to add a feather to this. This feather is going to depend on the resolution of your original picture. Now I've got mine about 97 and if I come over here into the center right there and hold down the Alt or Option key and click and drag it will create an elliptical marquee tool from the middle. You want to include the person's face, but it will be feathered, so you can put it right to the edge of their head. Now, that is selecting the inside of the marching ants, and we need the outside of the marching ants. By selecting Command-Shift-I or Control-Shift-I, 
we select everything on the outside of the elliptical marquee. Then it's as simple as holding down the Option or Alt key and hitting Delete, and it adds your color vignette. To get rid of the marching ants, Command-D, and there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on making a mat and a colored vignette. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and share my videos with your friends. Cheers!